Every month, a powerful and natural biological process takes place inside the female body. It's called the menstrual cycle, a cycle that prepares the body for pregnancy. In this video, we'll explore this cycle step by step so you can clearly understand what's happening beneath the surface. Let's begin by understanding the female reproductive system. There are two ovaries which store eggs. Connected to them are the fallopian tubes. These are the passageways through which eggs travel. In the center is the uterus, a muscular organ where a fertilized egg may implant and grow into a baby. Below that is the cervix and finally the vagina, which connects the uterus to the outside of the body. The menstrual cycle is a series of natural changes in hormone levels and reproductive organs, typically lasting about 28 days, although it can range from 21 to 35 days in different individuals. This cycle is controlled by four main hormones, estrogen, progesterone, luteinizing hormone, also called LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. The first phase of the menstrual cycle is called the menstrual phase. This is when the period begins. The uterus sheds its inner lining, which flows out through the vagina as blood and tissue. This happens because hormone levels drop, signaling that pregnancy did not occur. The menstrual phase usually lasts between three and seven days. While menstruation is happening, the next phase is already beginning. This is called the follicular phase. The brain releases follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, which stimulates the ovaries to develop small sacs called follicles. Each follicle contains an immature egg. Usually, only one of these follicles fully matures. As it grows, it produces estrogen, which helps rebuild and thicken the uterine lining in preparation for a possible pregnancy. Around day 14 of the cycle, a sudden rise in luteinizing hormone triggers the release of the mature egg from the ovary. This is called ovulation. The egg is released and captured by the fimbri, the finger-like ends of the fallopian tube. From there, the egg begins its journey through the tube, where it may meet a sperm and become fertilized. After ovulation, the cycle enters the luteal phase. The empty follicle that released the egg transforms into a structure called the corpus luteum. This structure releases progesterone, which continues to support and thicken the uterine lining. If the egg is fertilized and implants into the lining, pregnancy begins. But if the egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum breaks down, hormone levels drop, and the cycle begins again with a new period. Let's quickly review the four phases of the menstrual cycle. First, the menstrual phase, when the uterine lining is shed. Second, the follicular phase, when follicles grow and estrogen levels rise. Third, ovulation, when the egg is released. And fourth, the luteal phase, when the uterine lining is maintained for possible pregnancy. This cycle happens every month from puberty until menopause, unless interrupted by pregnancy, certain medical conditions, or hormonal changes. The menstrual cycle is more than just periods. It's an essential part of reproductive health. Understanding it can help track fertility, manage symptoms, and identify possible health issues early. Being informed about your cycle allows you to recognize what's normal for your body and when something might not be. Periods are a natural sign of a working reproductive system. Talking about them openly helps break taboos and empowers people to take control of their health. Knowledge is power. By understanding the menstrual cycle, we empower ourselves and others to make informed decisions about health and well-being. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more educational videos.